replicating human motion is not an easy task. However, it leads us to the biomechanical foundation of robotic joint design which is extremely crucial for our robot partners. In today's video we will see the ubiquitous quest to build humanoid robots, machines that mirror human form and function. But everything hinges on one critical aspect, the design of robotic joints. These joints, the hinges and pivots that enable movement, must replicate the range of motion and force capabilities of their human counterparts. And to achieve this, engineers rely heavily on biomechanical analysis, a field that bridges the gap between biological understanding and robotic creation. So let's dive deep into today's topic that will shed more light on robots' joints. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. We often forget that the human body is a marvel of biomechanical engineering. Our joints, from the intricate ball and socket of the hip to the complex hinge of the knee, allow for a vast array of movements, each tailored to specific tasks. These movements are not simply about rotation. They involve a delicate interplay of bones, muscles, ligaments, and tendons, all working in concert to produce smooth, coordinated motion. Therefore, to replicate these movements in a robot, we must first understand the intricate biomechanics that govern them. Let us first try to understand human joint biomechanics. Let's begin by exploring the key biomechanical principles that inform robotic joint design. Range of motion, or ROM, is the extent to which a joint can move. This is crucial for tasks like reaching, grasping, and walking. Biomechanical studies, often involving motion capture and medical imaging, provide detailed data on the ROM of various human joints. This data serves as a benchmark for robotic joint design, ensuring that the robot can achieve the necessary flexibility and dexterity. Force capabilities are equally important. Human joints are capable of generating and withstanding significant forces. Muscles acting as biological actuators apply forces to bones, enabling movement and supporting loads. Biomechanical analysis, including force plate measurements and electromyography, EMG, helps quantify these forces. This information is vital for selecting appropriate actuators for robotic joints, ensuring that they can generate the required torque and power. Joint stability is another critical factor. Human joints are stabilized by ligaments and tendons, which prevent excessive or unwanted movements. This stability is essential for maintaining balance and preventing injuries. Biomechanical analysis helps identify the key stabilizing structures in human joints and understand how they function. This knowledge is then applied to robotic joint design, incorporating features like mechanical stops and damping mechanisms to enhance stability. On the other hand, joint kinematics focuses on the geometry of joint motion, including the instantaneous center of rotation and the degrees of freedom. Biomechanical studies provide detailed kinematic data, revealing the complex movements of human joints. This data is used to design robotic joints with appropriate kinematic structures, ensuring that they can replicate the natural movements of their human counterparts. Joint kinetics delves into the forces and torques acting on joints during movement. This includes analyzing the forces generated by muscles, the reaction forces at joint surfaces, and the moments of inertia of limb segments. Biomechanical analysis provides quantitative data on joint kinetics, which is crucial for designing robotic joints that can withstand the stresses and strains of dynamic movements. Now the question is how we can apply biomechanics to robotic joint design. So let's explore how these biomechanical principles are applied in the design of robotic joints. Let us start with actuator selection. Biomechanical analysis dictates the type and size of actuators used in robotic joints. 
For instance, high torque actuators are needed for joints that bear heavy loads, while high speed actuators are required for joints that need to move quickly. The force and velocity profiles of human joints, derived from biomechanical data, guide the selection of appropriate actuators. Secondly, joint structure and materials. The structural design of robotic joints must replicate the load-bearing capabilities of human joints. Biomechanical analysis helps determine the stress distribution in human joints, informing the selection of materials and the design of joint components. Lightweight, high-strength materials, such as titanium and carbon fiber composites, are often used to reduce inertia and enhance performance. Third, joint control systems. Biomechanical analysis informs the development of control systems for robotic joints. Control algorithms are designed to replicate the natural movements of human joints, ensuring smooth and coordinated motion. This includes incorporating feedback mechanisms to compensate for disturbances and maintain stability. Fourth, range of motion and degrees of freedom. The range of motion and degrees of freedom of robotic joints are directly influenced by biomechanical data. For instance, the design of a robotic shoulder joint must replicate the complex movements of the human shoulder, including flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, and rotation. This requires careful consideration of the joint's kinematic structure and the arrangement of its actuators. Fifth, joint damping and stability. Biomechanical analysis helps design mechanisms to enhance joint damping and stability. This includes incorporating features like mechanical stops, dampers, and springs to prevent excessive or unwanted movements. The design of these mechanisms is informed by the stability characteristics of human joints, as revealed by biomechanical studies. Sixth, humanoid hand design. The human hand is an incredibly complex biomechanical system. To replicate its dexterity, robotic hands must be designed with intricate joint structures and control systems. Biomechanical analysis of human hand movements, including grasping and manipulation, provides valuable insights for designing robotic hands with comparable capabilities. However, there are challenges and future directions. Despite significant advancements, replicating human joint biomechanics in robots remains a challenging task. Human joints are incredibly complex, involving a multitude of interacting components. Furthermore, the human body is adaptable, capable of adjusting its movements to changing conditions. This adaptability is difficult to replicate in robots. However, ongoing research in biomechanics and robotics is paving the way for more advanced humanoid robots. Advances in material science, actuator technology, and control systems are enabling the development of robotic joints with enhanced performance and capabilities. Future research will focus on developing more sophisticated biomechanical models and control algorithms. As a result, it enables robots to move and interact with the world in a more natural and human-like way. In summary, biomechanical analysis is the cornerstone of robotic joint design, providing the essential insights needed to replicate the range of motion and force capabilities of human joints. By understanding the intricate biomechanics of human movement, engineers can create robots that move with grace, dexterity, and power, bringing us closer to the dream of truly human-like machines. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.